Are you tired of overspending on groceries? Well, I've got you covered. I'm Julia, and in this video, I'm going to the major grocery stores to compare the prices of the most popular staple products, including Walmart, Bravo, Publix, Trader Joe's, Aldi's, and Whole Foods. So let's get started. First stop is Walmart. Known for its affordability, we're curious to see how it stacks up against the others. Let's head inside and see what they're offering. Spotted. I just learned that bananas happen to be the most selling product at Walmart. No wonder they have such a huge stack. 72 cents a pound. I mean, the prices here are gonna drive me bananas. That's not a bad deal. Let's write it down on our list. Let's check the bread. For their fresh made bread, $1.47. That's cheap. It's like some tasty ass bread too. I don't know if any of us were ready for all this info. There's a lot of things that we can compare. But we're starting with the staples. The ingredients and the food items that are bought most at grocery stores. And let's find the Walmart eggs. What do they cost? Look at Munch, look at this book. It's a food hacks book. Healthy Junk Food presents fast food hacks to save you money and more. Check the link in the description. You can also pick up this hat, this shirt soon. It's a limited time item coming soon, but the French Fry Club is now available. So if you guys are looking for some merch or this really awesome book, then you guys will really enjoy it. It's colorful. It's like the basic best coffee table book ever. Plus, you can learn some things about how to save money when you go to your favorite fast food restaurants. Now available on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. This book might be the greatest thing that you ever bought because you've been getting ripped off and you don't have to be. White eggs, just regular eggs, coming in at $1.17. And the largest, $1.32, not much more. What is the gallon price for milk? Whole milk is coming in at $2.93. Is that it? That's the cost. It's utterly amazing. I am milking these puns for all they're worth. Last but not least, let's go check in on that meat game. It comes in at $5.76 per pound for ground beef. That looks like the cheapest one. There's tons of options. All right, y'all, that's Walmart. Guys, let's go to another place. We've got some investigating to do. Up next, we get to Bravo. Now, this place is a little bit different, Spanish market. They only have 88 locations in the United States, and I have this like weird feeling that their produce and stuff is cheaper. Let's go find out. I spotted them. 79 cents per pound. Oh, Walmart is beating us on bananas. What is the price of the ground beef? 6.82 for that whole thing. Walmart was 5.76 per pound, and right here we have a dollar 99. Guys, I can't make this up. Can I say bravo to bravo? Let's go to the bakery. They've got those good bread. It's like a bread warming machine. Thank you, bravo. A dollar 99 for Cuban bread. That's a good deal. They've got those delicious kings. Hawaiian rolls, we love these. We've used these before on the channel. To be honest, I think that's it. $1.99 each for a loaf of bread. Walmart is beating with that giant loaf at $1.47 though. That's a really good price. The milk for a gallon, $5.69. That's a little pricey. Proven it out, you don't want to go to Bravo for milk. Ooh, I feel like I'm outing you guys. Well, they got cooler eggs here. Look at them quail eggs. Damn, I just want to eat them. Now this is just a shopping experience. $1.89 for the medium eggs. Pretty good selection of eggs though. I gotta hand that to them. The milk here is expensive, but the meat is not. This is interesting. So we do possibly want to shop around for different things at different places for the best deal. That's it for the Bravo investigation. On to the next store. Publix. It's known for its customer service and quality. Let's see how much they measure up. Hi ho, hi ho. Bananas. 69 cents per pound. I never would have thought it, but Walmart's been whipping us off. They're cheaper. Plain white bread, $3.59. I mean, it does look like a larger loaf and a better quality, to be honest. Everyone likes hamburgers, so we're only comparing ground beef in this meat game. $6.49 per pound. $8.49 per pound for the lean ground beef. $6.49. That's the cheapest price for ground beef. Bravo is really killing it. It's expensive here. Four. 65 for all types. Let's add it to the least. Go generic large eggs, 235. I guess Publix is a little more pricey. But is it because the quality is better? I don't know. They do have a huge selection of breads. Get baked bread from the bakery, it's normally cheaper. Wonder bread, which is 335. Just in case you were wondering about the Wonder bread. Let's get out of here. This spreadsheet here is already filling out to be surprising. Let's go to the next spot. All these. Store is famous for affordability. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Check it out, guys. 71 cents per pound. 71. Aldi, you're one cent cheaper. They're green, so you'd have to wait to eat them. Sometimes I like a green banana. It tastes crisp. Here's some bread. 
185, 129. It's a pretty big loaf. It doesn't look as like specialized as the grocery store, but it's $1.29. That's the cheapest. Do a little squish test. Are you looking quality or are you looking to save a buck? Ground beef, $4.99 per pound. That's a pretty good deal, maybe. It is the cheapest if you're not going to Bravo. The quality looks good. I'd be interested to eat it, to do a taste comparison. That's for a future bid. Eggs and milk and eggs and milk. 302. That's the milk price, guys. They put it on the door. Walmart's winning. Eggs. $1.16. The cheapest eggs that you could ever find. I've got two more shops to stop by. I'm going for a little drive going to Trader Joe's. Now, Trader Joe's is quite different than our previous stops. I guess it's organic. I think it's going to be more expensive. Let's go in and compare the prices. How cute. Right when you walk in, this place, it smells like cinnamon. It makes me hungry. 19 cents each? Is that cheaper? We're gonna have to analyze this. Organic, 29 cents. Trader Joe's, you're messing with my math. Throw up on the screen the average weight of a banana. How much is that to a pound? Throw up the price. There's the rate. We're looking at organic breads over here. Sliced French brioche, that's fancy. Butter croissants. Hey, they have sliced red loaf right here. Pita bread's cheaper, but that doesn't count. Here we have it. The cheapest bread, white bread, $1.99. A little on the higher end. This is weird. They don't have any of their own ground beef, it doesn't look like. They do have these pressed out patties. They got filet, top sirloin, ribeye, flank sirloin. I got no beef, unless it's ground. Ground beef. Okay, here's the ground beef. Seven forty-nine a pound for the lean. Seven ninety-nine for this ground beef. Oh, six forty-nine per pound. Eighty-five fifteen ground beef. Seems healthier for you too. Same price as Publix. This place is busy. Four sixty-nine for a gallon. The milk at Trader Joe's coming in at four dollars and sixty-nine cents. These eggs. We can't have any recording in this. Oh, okay. All right, I'm not going to record, but I'm going to get the prices. Last but not least, Whole Foods is where we're heading. Known for its organic and natural products. Let's check it out. Hey, it smells like cinnamon in here too. Here they are, 89 cents for an organic banana. The non-organic ones, 69 cents. Okay, Whole Foods. These look like some good bananas up in here. Where's the ground beef at? Here we go. There it is, $5.99 for a pound of ground beef. Milk's been spotted. For the gallon, $7.29 for milk. Why is there so much here? This one's $5.49. I don't see eggs over here. You must have missed some. They've got the fancy ones, that's for sure. There's some quail eggs up in there, too. Outdoor access grade A eggs, $4.19. That's too expensive. Cracks me up. God, it smells so good over here. Unless you're getting Wonder Bread, guys. If you want sliced bread, you're coming in at $3.75 for a half loaf. Looks large, though. These other, like, breads are six bucks a piece. Hmm. That was a unique grocery store experience. Now let's summarize our findings and find out which grocery stores have the best deals. Don't get ripped off. Looking at our list for bananas, it looks like the cheapest banana comes at 69 cents per pound at both Publix and Whole Foods. For bread, we're coming in at $1.28 for a loaf from Aldi's. We loaf you very much. But Walmart is very close behind at $1.47 a loaf of bread. Eggs, the most expensive thing that everyone keeps complaining about now. Where's the best deal? Coming in at $1.16 at Aldi. Okay. And again, right behind that is Walmart at $1.32. Super wild, the highest cost here is Whole Foods at $4.35 for a dozen. So if you're shopping at Whole Foods for eggs, you're definitely getting ripped off. Now milk. Surprised here that the cheapest place that you can get milk is actually Walmart for $2.93. All these coming in just a little bit more expensive at $3.02. And most expensive is Bravo Supermarket at $5.69. Don't get milk at Bravo. Just don't do it. But do buy your meats at Bravo because Bravo's coming in first place at $1.99 per pound for ground beef. Everything else is way more expensive. But the lowest cost, cutting out Bravo because it might not be in your area, is Aldi at $4.49 per pound. The most expensive is coming in at $6.49 per pound from Publix. Based on this comparison, it's clear that each of these grocery stores has its weaknesses and its strengths. Walmart does showcase its supportability, but in comparison to Aldi, it actually is a little bit more expensive. Publix impressed with quality and customer service, but the prices definitely were not the lowest. Trader Joe has the most unique 
offerings, but again, not the most affordable. Same with Whole Foods. Aldi all around did prove to be the most budget friendly option. And Bravo just surprised us with that meat prices. Remember, prices may vary depending on your location and specific products. So I encourage you to go to these stores yourself. Make better informed choices about your preferences and your budget. That wraps up the most ultimate price comparison of the staple grocery store items that we all normally buy based on the most popular food items when I looked on Google. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again for joining and feel free to share all your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy shopping.